Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, some differences about the Mexican uh, Super Beetle tank sender versus the Impy tank sender, and then the operation of how the Mexican sender works. First thing you notice is that the uh, Mexican sender actually does have a label on it that tells you uh, the make, not the make, but uh, their part number, which is that 1F161. Uh, and the MP sender will have no no stamps or anything on it. You won't know that it, it really is an MP sender. But this little tab right here that holds the, the uh, sender tab on, on the MP is dull and it is... Uh, flat on the top, whereas the Mexican sender is rounded and it's kind of shiny. That's kind of the basic differences. The other is that the floats uh, appear to be pretty close to the same, but they probably are from a different vendor. The floats on the Mexican are kind of rounded here, as you can see there versus the MP has a tab. Otherwise the body of where the rheostat and everything is, they look identical. I'm not sure whether the resistive uh, windings for the rheostat are the same. Uh, I haven't taken uh, the Mexican one apart to find out. I have taken the MP one apart. Okay, so now I'm going to pause and get set up to show some uh, resistance readings and gauge readings with the Mexican sender. Okay, we've got it in the empty position. Notice that the arm doesn't go quite all the way down, but that it's only about a, a, you know, maybe a pint of fuel left there in the tank at the most. And one thing... Uh, if you remember the other videos I've done about twisting this and getting the arm to drag on the baffle in the back there, it seems that the this sender does not drag. As tight as you can make it, it still won't drag, but I wouldn't crank it all the way around anyway. All right, so at empty, uh, we're reading just a little bit uh, to the plus of the empty mark, maybe about one... Uh, millimeter and I measured the resistance and it was about 66 ohms so that's going to be okay. All right, the R rating now uh, is giving me about a minus two millimeters from uh, the R mark as you can see and I guess I can live with that. Uh, it means that your gauge is reading lower than how much gas you have in it because the shim will give you the R, which is about one gallon left. Our resistance is 51 ohms. R should be about 45. So we'll give you a gauge reading here. Okay, as I had previously done, I gave you a, a gauge reading for R, and it's about a minus two or three uh, millimeters uh, to the left of R. We're doing the resistance check now for a quarter of a tank. Uh, the long arm is in control of the short arm, and so we're measuring uh, 39 ohms, and we really should be reading... Uh, 33 for a quarter of a tank. That is going to cause the gauge to read lower than a quarter of a tank. Hang on, we'll see. All right, so as we're observing here now, we're almost right on the R with a quarter of a tank. And so what that means is that when you see your gas gauge reading uh, R that's been calibrated with the Mexican uh, sender that you're going to have uh, 
about a gallon more of gas left to go before you're out of gas, a gallon and a half roughly. Okay, I've got my half tank shim in here, and somewhere right around uh, a half a tank, uh, the long arm is now taking over the short arm, as you can see right here. We're just uh, doing a roughy uh, look at this. Um, so what I'm reading now for resistance is about 26 ohms, and for a half a tank, we would like it to be at 21. So... Uh, that's going to make you read that you have less gas, but you actually will have uh, more. And I'll show you that with the gauge here in a second. Okay, we're at a, uh, a half a tank on my shim. And uh, as you can see, it's about a minus three uh, millimeters to the left of half. And that uh, means that you have more gas in your tank than what you're reading on the gauge. And that is if you have a calibrated gauge. I'll do another test to show an, a non-calibrated uh, aftermarket gauge. So I, that uh, concludes the testing except to show the full tank. And I'll do that here in a second. Okay, so this would be showing a full tank, and it looks like it's about a millimeter above uh, full, and that's okay. That's good. All right, we'll do a resistance check here in a second. Okay, we're reading about uh, 9.7, and we know that a full tank should give us about uh, 10 to 11 ohms. I like to see them more towards the 11 and that is why when it's at 9.7 that it is reading a little bit past the 1.1 1 .1, uh, or 1.1 1 1 full mark on my gauge because this is a calibrated gauge. Okay, that concludes uh, testing with a calibrated gauge, the 7.5 volt regulator, and the Mexican sender.